guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back my name is Jacqueline and on this channel I do budget related videos if those sort of videos interest you do please consider subscribing okay guys so in today's video we are going to be doing my weekly check-in number two and three for the month of November yes <laughs> I oh I like I said it in my last video I'm behind on my videos but I'm trying to push them out it's been really difficult for me because I really haven't been home and where I've been at my mom's it's kind of hard for me to record my videos so um, I'm here now doing this okay so before I start laying down my stickers I do want to take a sip of my sparkling water today I have the blueberry lemonade so I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of this For those that might be new, I do use the Plum Paper Monthly Planner. This is where I lay down all of my stickers. Um, and then I keep track of my spending on here as well. I actually have been keeping track of my spending on my iPad, but I don't want to record on my iPad because I've already spent money on the stickers for November. I haven't purchased a December kit, so I might not purchase a December kit and go ahead and maybe just do Decembers on the iPad. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks really pretty. Um, and it's super neat. Okay, so here it is. It's actually a September kit from Suns and Roses, but I liked the leaves, so I went ahead and just purchased that. But as you see here, I think you guys can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Um, I've basically laid down all of my stickers on here. This is how I'm going to be keeping track. So I'm actually going to do this for the month of December. I'll have it in this format and I'll still lay down my weekly check-in on my actual notebook because I don't have a spread for it on my iPad. So I'll just do one on my notebook. But for the calendar view, it's going to be um, here on my iPad for December. But for now, November, we will keep this here. Okay, so I'm going to be checking in from November 4th until today's date, which is November. Um, actually, I'm going to do November 18th, which was yesterday's date. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started with this because I do have a lot of spending. I'm actually going to open up my... I don't have my budget by paycheck workbook from the Budget Mom because I've been tracking it on this this past two weeks. So I'm going to keep this off to the side. That way I know um, what days to lay down the stickers because I'm basically going to mimic what I did on my iPad to my actual sticker book, okay? Or my monthly layout here. Okay, so my first spending was on November 7th. I got lunch for $5.57. I like to lay down my stickers in category order instead of the date order. That way I don't confuse myself. So the next eating out is going to be on the 9th. I spent $20.83 and I got myself some lunch and dinner this day. Then I went out to lunch on I went out to lunch on the 10th for $11.67. And then the 14th for $14.02. I have an eating uh, on the 18th was for $4.34. I actually have one for, um, let me see, I put here $6.98, but that, that might have been. Okay, I'm back. I had to check on something. Okay, on the 15th. I had um, lunch for $6.98, and then that morning I actually went to Starbucks and I had a gift card from Fetch Rewards, and all I spent was $0.43, cents, so I just combined it. What Fetch Rewards is, is an app that you download and you scan your receipts, and for each receipt you get points, and then they um, add up to points where you can redeem your gift cards. Um, I redeemed a $10 gift card for a Starbucks. If you use my referral code, you do get 2,000 points for your first scan and then I get 2,000 points. So it's easy money and a way to kind of give yourself um, gift cards every so often. You just gotta save your receipts and scan them. 
so yeah um all right so let's continue so that is it for my eating out category i got gas on the 9th for 32 dollars then i got gas again on the 16th for 36 dollars gas this day here on the 16th was like three dollars and two cents at sam's club regular gas was like 350 something i think i'm not really 100 percent sure okay so then on the 8th i went to publix and i spent a total of 1902 and then i went to trader joe's on the 15th and i spent a total of 7264 all right, and I think that is it for my spending as far as my cash envelopes. So I'm going to lay down stickers to represent money that I spent from my sinking funds, okay? The first one is going to be on the 11th. This was Dustin's first uh, vet appointment, so I spent money for that. I spent money on some safety keychains and also his food. And then on the 12th, I bought some candles from Cozy Flames, which, oh my gosh, I have them. I'm going to show you them. They're so adorable and they smell amazing. Oh my God. So good. And then also on the 15th, I mailed out my gift for my giveaway. So I'm going to use take that money for my gifts because I don't have money um, set aside for when I ship items for a giveaway. On the 16th, I went to Walmart and I bought some supplies for Dustin. And I think that is it. All right, you guys. So I'm going to lay down my no spends. I have a few this week, the past two weeks. Actually, not that many, but hey, any little bit counts. All right, so I have a total of one two three four five six no spends for this month that's not bad i mean i have been kind of spending a lot of money this month but that's okay um let's go ahead and tally this up and we're gonna do both weekly check-ins so i might just fast forward through this um you guys just enjoy this okay All right, you guys, so now that I've done my weekly check-in, I'm gonna go ahead and open up to the page where I list all of my categories, and we're gonna unstuff both weeks together. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and start unstuffing my envelopes. Okay, we're gonna start with my um, gas category. So I need to take out $68. Okay, so we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, and 68. Gas now has 20, 40, 50, 55, 61, and 62. All right, so this is actually um, a pay week, basically. So um, this is rollover for my savings challenge, but I'm not going to roll over that much money to my savings challenge. Um, so let me see. I'm going to see how much I'm going to roll over. I want to keep money inside of this envelope. I think I'm going to roll over 12, and then I'm going to keep... $50 in here because I might be doing some traveling soon and I might need money for gas. So I'll just keep that there. 
Okay, so the next one is going to be eating out. I did overspend by $14, so this should be 50. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. I'll take the remaining from compra. Okay, so compra, I spent a total of 92. So let's see. 92 plus 14 is 106. That's 50, 100. And I'll put, um, I'll put two fives and pick up four singles. So that's $110 and I'm gonna pick up four singles. Just trying to find the nicer bills because some of these bills are so gross. Okay, so compra should have, I'm just, I'm just gonna double check. Okay, so this should be $89 if I did this correct. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89. And that is correct. So um, this is also gonna be rollover money. This is too much into my savings challenge only because I wanna keep money inside of my envelope for compra. So I'm going to roll over into my compra envelope for my next cash stuffing $50. Okay. That's 20, 30, 40, 50. And then I'm going to be rolling over 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39 to my savings challenge. And then my spending, I did not spend any money this week. So for my spending category, so that's 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80 is going to be for my savings challenge. All right, and that is it for this binder. Let's go to my um, low priority. Okay, we're gonna take, from home decor, we're gonna take $53. So we have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, and 53. Home decor now has 25, 35, 40, 20, 5, 35, 45. Okay. Um, okay, so Dustin, I'm going to take out $21. But actually, um, I did spend more money at Walmart. So let me see. I'm going to have to take out the full money that I have. Let me see. So I spent a total of... 21 for his food 2139 for his food at PetSmart and then I spent 20 44 at Walmart so that's $42 I'm actually gonna take $10 from my um, spending because that stuff at Walmart I bought wipes for four dollars and then a tarp for five so I shouldn't have to take out that much money. I'm just gonna round it up to 10 and 21. So I'm gonna take actually 10 from my spending and then I'm also gonna just take out 21 plus 10. So I'm gonna take out 31 from his envelope. All right, so we have 10, 25, 31 and that's $41. 541 yes because I need to cover that and I didn't want to empty his envelope completely if I have money for my spending so he has now 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 all right um I got that now this here $94 I have a challenge that I did like was it the end of last? It was the, it was the middle of last year, and I still had a hundred and two dollars that I never did anything with it, and I've literally just been rolling it over, rolling it over, rolling it over. <laughs> so I finally am going to use it today. This money here is money that I did on a savings challenge. I think it was from January through June of twenty twenty one. So I'm going to take out ninety four dollars from this stack of money. So that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 80, 5, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
And what I did with the $94 is I bought myself safety keychains. Um, they haven't came in the mail in the mail yet, but they were so adorable. I could not not get them. <laughs> so when they come in, I'm going to show you them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dollars. I'm just gonna keep this eight in here just for now, only because I don't want to do anything with it at the moment. So that is that. Okay. Okay. So the savings of 145 is coming from my savings envelope. A lot of the monies that I'm using for my little puppy until I can kind of get his money situated is from my savings account. So I'm going to take out 145. And this money is actually in my Ally savings. So I'm gonna just transfer the money so I can pay this bill. Um, yeah, so we have one twenty forty-five. So my savings has a total of um, did I unstuff that? Let me see. One, two, fifty, sixty, seventy. 81, 82, 83, and 84. I'm not sure why I have this amount. This envelope has really been confusing me lately. So I'm just going to leave that alone for now. I'm going to add this up real quick. Okay, so this should be a total of $537. So that's one, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 500, and 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, okay so after going through this i realized that i forgot to add that i actually took out 31 out of dustin's envelope plus the 10 that i took from spending so the total should be 41 for this category so this changes the amount to 557 let's just tally this up again Okay, so let's just double check that this is 557. So that's 150, 200, and 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 500, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 557, and that is correct. I'm gonna put this inside of my Fidelity envelope. I'm not gonna put the prop money in there because that money is actually gonna be transferred from my Ally savings account to my checking so I can pay off this portion of my bill. Okay. So I will put it in here. I'll put this back with my prop money. And I'm going to be making myself a note here to transfer 145 to checking from savings. And I'm just going to put the sticky note right here. Okay, so let's see how much we are going to be cash stuffing for my next savings challenge. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 5, 95, 105, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So that's $121. That is amazing. All right, so I'm going to cash stuff this into my envelope. I actually have not recorded my previous savings challenge video yet but um i do have that cash here so i'm just going to keep them separate because i do want to record them separately and yeah you guys this is the end of my video oh i do want to show you the um candles from tempest hold on one second okay so these are them i got four 
I'll show you each one. This one is called Frosted Snowman. It's a mixture of peppermint, vanilla, and sugar. Look how adorable this is. Can you see that? I don't know if the camera is picking it up. Might be a shadow, but look how beautiful that is. So pretty, and it smells oh like peppermint and vanilla and sugar. Exactly what it says is exactly what it smells like. <laughs> okay, this one next is called Ugly Christmas Sweater. It's bergamot, mahogany, and woods. This smells so delicious. Oh, it's masculine. So it kind of smells like a man. <laughs> it smells really good, like a really yummy perfume or cologne. This one is Cookies for Santa. It's sugar, butter, and vanilla. Oh, this smells delicious. Mmm, it smells just like a cookie. OMG, how adorable are these? And look at the covers, like the stickers. These are so cute. So cute. Let me just put these on the side that way you can see the covers and then the last one is called a falala it's coconut clove and marshmallow mmm oh smells so delicious it smells like a coconut delicious these candles are amazing and so worth it so i always have her shop or her website link below go ahead check her out she just listed these not that long ago get your hands on them you will not regret it i'm telling you i don't know if i have a discount code from her i will ask her um and if that's the case it will be in the link next to her um uh, website okay so yeah you guys thank you so much for making it this far if you have go ahead and leave me um a coconut emoji because I love coconuts and I just do. So I don't know which is which for this. So I'll just put it like that for now. So if you're not already subscribed, do please consider subscribing. And you guys uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. You guys take care and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.